Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the Lush Kitchen menu for next week, December 26th through December 30th. And the Lush Kitchen will be closed on the 26th and the 27th for the holidays and Boxing Day, etc. And so on Wednesday, which is the 28th, the Lush Kitchen will open up. And on Wednesday, they're going to be making Jingle Spells Bath Bomb and Bomb Perignon Bath Bomb. And Jingle Spells Bath Bomb. Jingle Spells is a classic OG Lush bath bomb. Um, it's the scent of this is so interesting and different. And they made this way back in 2001 or something uh, for the holidays, for Christmas, uh, for when you overeat or overdrink during holiday parties. This is said to make you feel better. And this has got uh, juniper and tangerine oil and fennel oil. And so it smells fruity and bright with a slight little dusting of a licorice edge to it. So it smells sort of fruity, sort of berry-like, and sort of slightly whiff of licorice. And it's a gorgeous scent. Um, this used to be my favorite bath bomb ever. This used to be my favorite bath bomb ever. Like on my list of favorite bath bombs, it was number one for years and years and years. Nowadays, the Lush bath bombs uh, that Jack Constantine makes, they're, they're full of colors and foam and messages and, and multiple colors. And, and so the Jingle Spells seem sort of tame by comparison. It's a fast fizzer. It makes the water a gorgeous purple color. But it doesn't foam, it doesn't spin around and make lots of colors. It does have little tiny gold or silver stars in it. And I have a demo video of, uh, of a Jingle Spells bath bomb so you can see what it looks like in the tub. Now the Jingle Spells that I do use in that demo video is quite old, so it doesn't fizz as much as it, it's supposed to. I just did that video a long time ago because you guys wanted to know what Jingle Spells look like. This is a fresher one that I've got since then in the Lush kitchen. Lush has made a couple of things with the same scent. For instance, last Christmas, 2015, Lush made a Christmas fun bar called The Magic of Christmas. And The Magic of Christmas had this Jingle Spell scent. Here's a picture I took of The uh, Magic of Christmas. I still remain loyal to this bath bomb that was always on my number one because it's purple and that's, you know, my favorite color. And um, it's just lovely. It's great to cocktail with things. Also Lush made a bubble bar for Halloween called Wizard Bubble Bar. And that was made in the Jingle Spells scent as well. And then Lush also made a soap a long time ago called Red Rice Soap. And that has the scent of Jingle Spells as well. Oh, I almost forgot. Lush also made a shower jelly called Jingle Jelly that's in the same scent as uh, Jingle Spell. Anyway, so I would rate this a 4 out of 5 rating. <clears throat> I wouldn't rate it a 5 out of 5 anymore um, just because... You know, in totality, there are a lot of other bombs that I, that I like to take a bath with more for the effect than Jingle Spells, but this will always remain one of my favorite smells, one of my favorite bath bombs. So I would rate Jingle Spells a 4 out of 5 rating. Jingle Spells bath bomb will be £3.95, which works out to $4.84 if you're paying in American dollars. Also on Wednesday, Bon Perignon bath bomb, and that's the one, I don't have mine here, but it, it's a bottle-shaped uh, bath bomb with one flat side. And it's also a fast fizzer, and Bon Perignon has a very fizzy 
grapefruit, orange, and lemon scent. It's a very fast fizzer, but if you like a strong citrus scent, you will love Bon Perignon. It's good to cocktail with things. Um, so eh, I would rate Bon Perignon a three out of five rating. And Bon Perignon is gonna be three pounds 50, which works out to $4.29. Thursday, the Lush Kitchen is going to be making Celebrate Body Lotion and Celebrate Solid Perfume. Now, I don't have the body lotion here, which is very strange. Well, I guess it's not that strange that I don't have it because the Celebrate scent isn't one of my favorite Lush scents. It is extraordinarily popular, however, and the scent has been made since Lush began, like in the 90s, honestly, so it's that popular. So I'm very much amongst the minority um, by not really having it be one of my favorite scents. That said, <laughs> the, um, the Celebrate body lotion will come in a pot and will come in a, a black pot like this. It's a medium 250 gram size. And Celebrate has a fizzy, sort of uh, celebratory, kind of holiday fizzy grapefruit soda or champagne kind of a smell. Lush is going to be selling a few products this week in that same scent. One of them is the Celebrate Lotion. Now, most people would rate the Celebrate Lotion probably a four or a five out of five. I rate the Celebrate Lotion probably a two and a half out of five only because I don't think the scent is the best scent in the world. <laughs> so that's just me. If you like that celebrate scent, if you like the scent of the Christmas bath bomb that looks like a gold present called Golden Wonder, it's gold and it has like all kinds of blue sparkly stuff in the middle, Golden Wonder. If you like that scent, then you're going to love Celebrate because it's the same exact scent. And the Celebrate Lotion is going to be £12.95, which works out to $15.87. And along with Celebrate Body Lotion on Wednesday is going to be Celebrate Solid Perfume. This is what it'll look like. It'll come in a little silver tin, a screw top tin like this, and it'll have the solid perfume inside. And the Celebrate scent, uh, the perfume is, let's put it this way. Um, as far as the Celebrate Solid Perfume, I like the smell of the Solid Celebrate fragrance, but I don't like it in the body lotion. Now, I don't know why, I really don't, but if you like Celebrate scent, you will love this Solid Perfume. Now, mine's from last year, and it says Lush Scents, and then it says uh, Celebrate, but the new ones lately are just saying the word celebrate in the big letters and that's it. So that's probably what yours will look like. It'll have the big letters here saying celebrate. So um, the solids are good. Um, I, you know, I would rate this a three out of five. I think people that really like this scent will rate this a four or five. And this is going to be nine pounds, which works out to $11 and two cents, I think it is. So that's Lush Celebrate Solid Fragrance. And then December 30th, Friday, Lush is going to be making one product that day and it's called Supernova. And those of you who've been around uh, OG Lushies know this as Champagne Supernova, which was named after a song, but uh, they call it Supernova now. And I have, I think I have a bath demo of uh, supernova here on my YouTube channel. A supernova has the scent of the Celebrate solid fragrance and the Celebrate lotion. And so it has that nice sort of fizzy, bubbly, champagne sort of grapefruit soda kind of a scent. And this is a slow melting bath bomb. It's gorgeous. It makes the water pink this baby pink foam with little pieces of colored paper confetti. Uh, that's why they call it Celebrate. <laughs> and so this is mega popular. And it, you know, I even like using it because of the way it looks in the tub. Even though I'm, Celebrate may not be my favorite scent in the world, 
Um, I, I do like to use the bath bomb once in a while because of the way it looks. So this has lime oil, orange oil, cognac oil, and paper confetti. Here's a picture I took of my supernova so you can see what it looks like without the wrapping. And Supernova is going to be £3.95, which works out to $4.84. That is it for the Lush Kitchen for the week of December 26th through the 30th. So, so many things going on with Lush lately, right? I mean, you guys have let me know of all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> so, let's go over the past week or so uh, in the Lush world. So, the Lush Kitchen at lush.co.uk slash kitchen they finally made the perfumes that uh, we voted on uh, a few months back. And so they made a Rose Jam liquid spray perfume and a Yuzu and Cocoa liquid spray perfume. And then they also made solid perfumes of Rose Jam and Yuzu and Cocoa as well. And then the Lush Kitchen site, we're also making and selling uh, bath oils, their new bath oils. Now, Lush has introduced 20 new solid bath oils at their uh, Lush Oxford Street Superstore in London in, I think it was early 2015. I think it was 2015 when they opened the doors to that first superstore. And they had 20 of these solid, jewel-like, bonbon-like looking uh, solid bath oils. I was able to buy some and have some beautiful people in the UK send them to me in the mail. And so uh, fortunately I was able to use demo review, photo and video, uh, 19 of those 20 solid bath oils. If you go to my Lush Encyclopedia blog at lushalot.com, I have a page just for the new Lush solid bath oils. And as a matter of fact, it's it's up there on the on the home page if you want to go over there and take a look. And in that page on my blog, I uh, have the names of all of the all 20 of the new bath oils. Now, three or four of them have been in all Lush stores all over the world for a while, but the other 15 or so are now going to be available on the Lush website. Uh, firstly. Uh, so anyone in the States here or anywhere else can order some. They are two pounds uh, each, which works out to about three dollars each. And these little things pack quite a punch of color and scent into your bath. They're perfect for cocktailing with other bath products. Um, I just love everything about them. These are my new favorite product from the Lush Oxford Street store. Anyway, that page I have in my blog lists all of them by name in alphabetical order and with a link to my bathtub demo and my review and photos of that particular bath oil. So you can find out all the info you need to know about what they smell like and what they do and how they look when they melt, etc. in the tub. So that's what I'm doing on Instagram for the past couple of days is I... Uh, I got a Lush haul yesterday and I'm in the process of uh, editing and going to be uploading that haul video here on my YouTube channel today at some point. And then I also have, uh, gosh, about seven or eight uh, singular, singular product demo videos that I have to finish up in the next couple of days. <laughs> so I've got a haul video, I've got this kitchen video, and I've got about eight products, uh, new products that I need to upload a demo and review of as well. So I'm going to be very busy. I'm going to be probably taping, you know, three or four review and demos on the same day so I can get these done. So you're probably going to be seeing three or four videos where I'm wearing the same exact thing because I'm going to be pre-recording all of these videos so I can get them out there for you. <laughs> Otherwise, the line of products that I need to review is just going to get longer and longer. And what else has been going on? The Lush Kitchen site or the Lush site, uh, UK site, has been down a lot lately and I didn't even know you guys were telling me all kinds of people on my Lush a lot Facebook on my Instagram on 
here on YouTube have been telling me that you can't get through and um, there are screenshots of what people are getting saying, I'm sorry, the site is down, etc. And I know that a lot of you are very frustrated with you're trying to get these goodies that you've been trying to get for months and months and months and months. And now you're ready. You've got the money. You've saved it up. You're ready to buy that fabulous item and you can't get through because the site is down and then when the site comes back up your item is gone I'm so sorry that happens that happens to me too <laughs> believe it or not a lot so it's frustrating but I guess I just wanted to tell you guys who are just you know that don't worry because these products like a bomb and a ball and all those goodies that they had will come back again now the Christmas items unfortunately that they've had the past couple of weeks probably won't be coming up again until you know a year um, if that so that's unfortunate however I just want to let you guys know there are a couple of options for you if you happen to miss uh, any of these products in the Lush Kitchen in the past couple of weeks one of them is to go to eBay because unfortunately <laughs> people some people buy a bunch of these Lush Kitchen items in bulk and then they sell them at a much much higher rate to people who didn't get any and so they're you know they're they're over overpricing everything to make a lot of big margins so that they can get a lot of money um, so normally we don't want to pay out the ass for a bath bomb <laughs> so you know eBay would be the last resort if you're really desperate Go to eBay, your product will be there. However, just know that product is gonna cost anywhere from three to 10 times how much it cost in the Lush Kitchen. The second option, and the one that I like better and that I utilize, is to go to any of the uh, few Facebook Lush Swap, Sell, and Buy pages. I belong to about 10 uh, Facebook Lush Swap groups, uh, buy and sell groups, where people trade their Lush, they sell their Lush, people buy Lush from other people, and on these different various uh, Facebook groups, those products that some of you missed in the kitchen are being sold or swapped on those Facebook sites. Um, because I belong to about 10 of them, I see what's being uh, sold or bought or swapped every day. And I'm telling you, we've got Christmas crackers, we've got abomina balls, we've got all kinds of stuff. So let me just name a few of those Facebook sites. One of them is called um, Lush USA. One of them is called uh, Lushies Unite. Um, gosh, there's so many. Oh, what else has been going on? Boxing Day. Oh, so many questions about Boxing Day. So many questions. So, so let me tell you my and my experience with Lush Boxing Day. Boxing Day is a holiday in the UK and perhaps Europe. I'm kind of too ignorant to to remember if it's a European based thing or just a British thing, and uh, it comes from a tradition of the. Uh, it comes from a tradition of uh, during Christmas a lot of the I guess maybe royals or um, you know upper upper level uh, wealthy people and whatnot uh, would have their Christmas and then the day after Christmas they would leave boxes of presents or goodies or whatever for their servants and that was called Boxing Day and so um, and so in the Lush world, what happens is on the UK website, Lush will sell everything on their site at 50% off. Okay, so you can get the big giant gift sets for 50% off. You can get a bath bomb per, for 50% off. You can get a hundred different Lush things in your order and it'll all be 50% off. So everyone goes bananas. But let me tell you, because a lot of you have been asking me for advice on how to get things for Boxing Day. <laughs> You're not going to like this, but I'm just going to tell you because you asked, okay? I never buy anything on Boxing Day, ever. Like, I've, I've stopped trying to get things on Boxing Day for about 
seven or eight years <laughs> because it's never going to happen. You're never, ever, ever going to get what you want on that site for Boxing Day. You're just not going to. So as long as you know that before you go in there and try to get something. So if you know that when you try to get something, then anything you might get will be like a bonus, right? But I don't even try because very rarely have I been able to get something on the Lush site on Boxing Day. So <laughs> for those of you who are asking for my advice on what to do during Boxing Day, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be having some hot cocoa while the rest of y'all are pulling your hair out trying to get <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding though, but um, you can try. You got to get in there, stay up, and you better be logged on at you know at least an hour before midnight uh, UK time. I would have to be up, logged into the site, got my credit card information ready, everything ready, and then you just keep refreshing the page until you see the products come up. Now what happens though, there's an extremely large chance that the Lush UK website will go down on Boxing Day. Okay, so there's that against, against us. Second thing against us, everyone and their grandmother is going to be on that website. Okay, thousands of people. They're going to buy things up like this and everything's going to be gone. So, so now how, how the Lush North America uh, Boxing Day usually goes is that instead of having everything 50% off like the UK does, Lush North America has a uh, buy one, get one free. So I'm going to wish you good luck on that. And I hope that every one of you gets what you are hoping to get for Lush Boxing Day. So look forward to a haul video coming up today and uh, then look forward to about seven or eight <laughs> individual product Lush demos that I'm going to be doing uh, today, tomorrow, and the next day. And if you have any questions about any of these things, go ahead and comment below and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you very soon on the next video.